After a series of shootings on Staten Island, officials are calling for change. They say that there's an alarming rise in youth gun incidents, some happening in and near schools. Nick Calloway has more. Our kids are not all right. Our kids are not safe. Staten Island District Attorney Michael McMahon sounding the alarm, addressing what he called a plague of youth gun violence and online threats. Last week, we lived every parent's worst nightmare on Staten Island. Four Staten Island teenagers, four, were involved in four separate incidents involving illegal guns in and around our borough schools. Among those, last Wednesday, a 17-year-old boy was taken into custody after he allegedly brought a gun into Curtis High School in the St. George neighborhood. The next day, a teenager was shot at a park near Curtis and McKee High Schools. The victim survived. Staten Island Borough President Vito Fasella joined the district attorney and State Senator Jessica Scarcella Spanton Monday calling for an end to the violence. They placed some of the blame on Albany, namely bail reform and raise the age laws. When people feel they can get away with anything without accountability or consequence, what are they going to do? Those people will continue to do it. Senator Scarcella Spanton says she's introducing legislation that would make changes to raise the age laws. This bill ensures that adolescent offenders can receive the necessary services while understanding the consequences of their actions and being held accountable. Officials here say there's also a dangerous shortage of school safety officers. They're calling on the city to pay those officers more to try and fill those spots. In the St. George neighborhood on Staten Island, Nick Calloway, CBS News, New York.